finally tested the Babala Pure Aero 98 Alcaraz racket. Does it play like him? Let's have a look. What is going on guys and welcome to the video. I was really excited to do this uh, review of the 98. I hope you guys like it. So what changed? For this one, the 98, it is the most surgical member of the Pure Aero family. It is a really powerful uh, racket for big hitters. Uh, it has a more compact head along with a denser string pattern and a more flexible beam than its previous predecessor, which was the VS. Uh, because of that, basically you get extra control when you try to go for uh, precision shots. And if you guys are wondering if uh, this racket is powerful, trust me, it's really powerful. Also in this update, Babala adds NF2 technology, which basically uses flax insert at three and nine o'clock in the head to soften the ball impact just like the 100 square inch. Just for your information, guys, I already made a video about the 100 square inch version. If you guys wanna check it out, I will leave it down below. Um, Babala also updated its FSI spin technology with a slightly tighter string spacing. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly on this picture here, but on the 98 square inch, which is a 16 by 20, compared to the 100 square inch, which is a 16 by 19, the actual uh, spacing in the 100 square inch is actually tighter than the 98. In both cases, it automatically results in greater control. Spec wise, as you guys can see here on this picture, um, it's pretty similar. There is some slight differences like the weight, the balance point, the flex and the swing weight. But generally speaking, it's pretty much the same. For that playtest, I strung it with RPM Blast at 53 pounds. And for me personally, if you guys have been watching my channel, um, you guys know that I like to go in the upper 50s. So I could have easily went with 55 pounds. Uh, just a fun fact, guys. If you were wondering what Alcaraz's setup was in his last tournament, which was the Miami Open, he uses 56 pounds in the mains and 53 pounds in the crosses with RPM Blast 16 gauge. On ground strokes, uh, whenever I would hit it in the sweet spot, it literally felt like a pillow feeling. Like very comfortable, easy on the arm, and ton of plow through. The little hick for me uh, was when hitting outside of the sweet spot. It became a bit unstable. I was not quite sure where the ball would land. Um, sometimes it would even sail on me. Uh, same thing happened if I didn't have the right angle of the head of the racket, um, the launch angle would be too much. On the other hand, whenever I felt pushed away, either on my forehand or my backhand, and I had to reach to get to the ball, this racket felt super, super special. Literally one of the best racket I have ever tested when it comes to hitting shot on the run or being stretched out. On volleys, um, I had good pop and plow through to put away easy volleys. Um, good stability as well when receiving hard shots. I just felt like whenever I was a little bit late and I had to react quickly, I didn't have the same amount of control as if I was hitting like a normal volley. Maybe because of the softer frame compared to the VS, but it's just something that I noticed. Even though most of the weight is still in the handle, you still got a lot of mass in the head. On smashes, it felt incredibly great. All the mass coming down on the ball made it very easy to put away smashes. Uh, it's kind of similar like swinging like a hammer, if I could say. On serve, I had uh, mixed reviews. If I hit it in the sweet spot, it felt like a cushion but little outside of the sweet spot, I would lose some power, especially on the first serve. The second serve, whenever I wanted to go for a big kick serve, 
I had a hard time generating enough racket speed to really create spin. I don't have the biggest serve, but it's something I did struggle with. Maybe because of the weight of the head, possibly. So for me on serve, it was just okay. If I had to compare this racket, I would say it's close to the Yonex E-Zone 98 Tour and the Technifiber Tempo 298 Iga. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it did, feel free to give me a like. It helps the channel to grow. Also, if you got any questions or comments, make sure to let me know in the comment section. It will be my pleasure answering them. If this racket and all the gear that I've used in this video seems appealing to you, feel free to visit my store. It will be linked down below. Till next time. And remember guys, you got this.